following in that goal using a stomp on it make sure it dies he doesn't care about using mana anyway because he got a wind of mana stealing Desperate a little bit scared of going to creep because well um, the way it was going Kedixucraft went uh, over the bridge and he thought that he might creep jacking so that's why he went in scouted with his dreadlord and when he saw there was no threat he went away to creep it's always important to know where your opponent is if he's not close so you're free to creep because if you get creep jacked it can mean the game right away and if you're creep jacked in a bad way like you're stuck behind units and everything well it is GG don't even ask and you know what the level 2 stomp would be perfect for that move that Tauren Chieftain with a boost of speed and level 2 endurance are on now in then stomp in the middle of all these goals and I can assure you that there are not many goals that are going to survive this so Dreadlord here getting potion of greater mana and a tome of whatever he has an expansion up. Kedix 2 Craft has 5 Ed Hunters, 3 Grunts, and a level 4 now Tyrant Chieftain. Ian Dispirin has a level 3 Dreadlord. And a few goals buying now Shredder to be able to use his gold wood as an army. And he is now adding fiends. Now a goal fiend mixed army. Don't say that too often, but it's kind of effective. Used well. So it's gonna finish that Augur Mauler. Don't know why, what, what taught him, took him so long. And I'm having trouble talking tonight. Other way. So now Berserkers. Those little trolls turn into big trolls, and well, now they're much stronger, much more, much better to attack that expansion of Despiran. During this time, Despiran is going to attack Kedix to Craft's expansion that is not defended. So, but Kedix to Craft's gonna teleport and teleport here. And sleep here straight on a Tauren Chieftain and the goal is gonna attack that Demolisher right away that Demolisher now you see the Crypt Fien trying to attack everything but now the beef now got a stomp out but he is going to sleep again the Crypt Fien's Fox firing on Grunts one after the other the ghouls are having fun in the Berserkers but Berserker focusing them one after the other stomp on the fiend means they can do much more damage sleep now and a desperate gun win that fight and the grunted sleep again on the tower and chieftain now use ear of stasis trap and stasis trap with stomp very very deadly but that trap got destroyed so Finn dying another stomp and two fiends are getting quite low in HPs. Sleep again. And well Desperin is winning this fight, but he will never be able to kill that Tauren Chieftain. So what I would do is that just now I would just kill his unit, then get the hell away. Because you won't kill much more than that. If you try to kill that Tauren Chieftain, you're gonna lose more than you're going to kill, I can assure you. So now that night out for Despiran. Another stomp. Stomp doing very good job. Level 3 stomp now I believe. And good attack here by the Tauren Chieftain. 40 to 50 plus 2. With a wall damn lot of speed. So he's going back into his base. Gonna get protected by Burrows. By some items. Probably healing and mana. Yes mana. And an orb of lightning. Now you're going to see something that is very very good. I've seen it before in Cadix 2 Craft replay. Now nothing can evade that uh, Tauren Chieftain stomp and Orb of Lightning. The units just can't go away. And then you add in the Boots of Speed and level 2 Endurance Aura and you can't evade that Tauren Chieftain except with one thing and that's called Sleep. But here, sleep just not doing much. Fiends dying one after the other. 
And Fox firing on that Tower and Chieftain is not going to die, not at all. But that Berserker is going to die, so Stomp here attacking as much unit as possible. Stomp again. And um, still strap that got put out there. And it got invisible, so that means, yes, it's gonna pop up. But, well, Tower and Chieftain have no mana, no mana left. So he won't be able to continue here the cycle and stomp again. And A.N. Desperate is going to win that fight. So Tower and Chieftain forced to go back into his base because there he would have died. Tower and Chieftain very, very, very dangerous as long as he's got mana. So that's what, that's what makes him not overpowered, the mana. He's low in mana and his spells are quite costly. So, well, when he's out, he's out. And is nothing better than a glorified uh, grunt. So, so now focus fire on that great all stomp here straight in the middle of those fins, bring the grunts in now, and uh, mass burrow here by all the Christians. Level six for the Tower and Chieftain, and now he's even more immortal. Stomp here in the middle of those burrow at uh, well Christians. I don't know if. To get it by that. Anyway, pulling his fins out and he is going to teleport. He had no other choice. Now he was getting raped. And that great all is still standing. Very nice fight here by both players. Desperon added here a Crypt Lord. But I think Desperon stayed there a little bit too long. Okay, once he killed quite a few Berserkers, you get back to your base, you heal up and you come back. He didn't need to stay there that long. He lost more more units than he killed in my opinion. But both players have an expansion, so it does matter. And now Cadix 2 Craft added a Tauren. And his Witch Duckers are master. So that means two Tauren's gonna be very hard to kill with healing wards and everything. Stomp and Stasis Trap are going to keep two Fiends um <coughs> well, not moving at all. Mm. Now back to creeping here for Despiron. A little bit careless there because, well, Cadix 2 Craft could be on his way. And he is indeed on his way. So you better creep that quickly. Else you're going to be in a world of trouble. So Augur Magi got by Ian Despirin, but yes, he is going to get...